It's a makeshift building inside the Bulengo camp of the displaced people, located on the western outcast of the city of Goma. Inside the building that serves as a church and a school every day, I met Ninyanguti Owi Fashiji Glory and her fellow refugees who have set up a school for their young children who fled fighting between the government and M23 rebels. The school is run by internal refugees and is very different from the ones operated by the government. While in the camp, we saw that it is better for those who had not started school to get at least a chance for basic education, even though they are going through difficulties. And those who were in school, we encourage them so that they don't forget about school. That's why we have decided to gather them and see how they can continue to stay in school. Bulengo is the largest of many camps of displaced persons surrounding the city of Goma, where thousands of former residents of Masisi, Rushuru and Niragongo have found temporary shelter. They fled after their village fell under the control of M23 rebels involved in fierce fighting with the Congolese army, Fardisi or armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Gray, who had been a primary school teacher in Kichanga village, is one of the refugees who volunteered to start a school in the camp and teach these children without being paid. There is no motivation other than volunteering for free because these are our children in the camp. We as refugees are volunteering so that the education we have can help these refugee children. But we are asking for help to get the equipment. And if there is help, we will gladly receive it. Ajua Kalole Gloom, who fled his village of Mweso in Masisi, North Kivu province, is a parent and a school teacher at the camp. He has joined the free school project for refugees along with other teachers who also fled their villages and are now living in the Bulengo camp. We teach refugee children. We came together because we saw that there are many teachers in the camp. We thought that we must give back education to the refugee children. Together we gather all the students in the church to give them education. A number of parents are applauding the move, like Andra Marie, who fled the Kichanga village in Masisi territory with her children. When we arrived here in the camp, we failed to educate our children. But now these teachers have committed themselves to educating them for free. So we thank God because they have free education. Some don't even have clothes to wear to school and they don't even have books. The teachers are trying to help them, but we have nothing. And there are other parents who refuse to allow their children to attend the school, like this mother, Jean Katoto. They are not studying because of hunger. It is better to have peace so that we can return to our homes. Our most pressing need is to return home because we are dying here. Heads of different camps surrounding the city of Goma are requesting for the international community and the Congolese government to help all internal refugees to return to their homes. As long as we remain here, there are many hardships, especially women and children are suffering. Children cannot go to school. Women do not have clothes and even cannot provide for their families. We want to go back to our place even tomorrow. If they give us a program, we will go back. Meanwhile, the Congolese government is asking all camp residents and refugees to maintain calm as efforts are being made to arrange for the refugees to return to their villages. Colonel Kapend Command Force Chin, Mayor of Goma and high-ranking officer in the police force explains. There is a guarantee to demonstrate that we can fight and once again control the villages occupied by M23 and their supporters. Because of the ADF Allied Democratic Forces terrorists and the ongoing fighting between the government forces and the M23 rebels, a large number of refugees and displaced persons are forced to live in these camps under very difficult conditions with no access to education and lack of basic essential services.
and their number continues to rise in the North Kivu province. For Stere Malivika in Goma DRC, this is Huba Abdi, VOA, Washington, D.C.